This morning, Greg will present a five to seven minute proposal titled New Member Orientation. He welcomes both your feedback, your comments, and your suggestions. Please help me welcome Greg. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters, raise your hand if you remember your first meeting or your earlier introduction to Pikes Peak Toastmasters Club. Excellent. For me, it was back in 1998. We were meeting at a restaurant near Garden of Gods in Centennial. I believe at that time it was called Le Peeps. There was a number of men in there and only one woman, Sophie Kogut. And when I started attending the meetings, my primary objective and the thing that I learned the most was how to give speeches and how to improve my public speaking. However, since that time, I've learned there's more to Toastmasters than just public speaking. There's also a leadership track. There's also the ability to learn how to mentor and how to be mentored. There's many things about the education program that I did not know about. And there was speech competitions that I didn't know, which I later became familiar with and competed in. I share those things with you fellow Toastmasters because I feel like as a club, we are really good. However, as one of our members would often say, Sterling, we can do more better. And one of those areas where we can do more better in is our new member orientation. So Dan, if you would put up the first slide for me. So, now that you've joined Toastmasters, what's next? Now what? Next slide, Dan. I would like to cover three things in this speech regarding the new member orientation. The first thing is, what is a new member orientation? A new member orientation is the ability of an event or a time where we can orient the new member into Toastmasters and share with them not only that they can improve their public speaking skills, but the other variety of aspects of Toastmasters. Those things that I mentioned earlier that I learned later. I compare it to flying in a plane. When you're up 30,000 feet in the air, you can see a big view of the, the landscape. But then as you start coming down and landing, you get to see more of the details. So a new member orientation is an orientation where we will orient the new member or help them assimilate into our club. Number, slide number two, Dan. The second thing I'd like to share with you is why should we have and what are the benefits of a new member orientation? We should have a new member orientation so that people do not become infodemic, so that they don't have any falsehood about what Toastmaster offers. But it gives the new member an opportunity to learn more than just about their public speaking skills and what Toastmasters offers. The benefits, I think they're threefold. One, it will help the new member learn more about Toastmasters and the Toastmasters Club and how we function as a club. Number two, it will help us as members to help assimilate those new members in. And I'm thinking that this would be a great role for an officer and the mentor of that new member to help develop. And number three, one of the benefits is I think it will strengthen our clubs and help us to retain members longer term. So those are the benefits that I believe with regards to a new member orientation. Next slide, Dan. 
Number three, what will we what would be covered in this new member orientation? Next slide. The things that we would cover in this new member orientation would include what are your goals? Is it public speaking? Is it become a professional speaker? Develop more confidence? Overcome your fear? We'll discuss your goals. We will also discuss the many roles within a club meeting. And probably the key part is what's this pathways thing that I need to learn about? How do I learn the different levels? How do I get into the website? How do I record my evaluation? So we'll share with them the pathways experience. Another thing we'll do is talk to them about the importance of mentoring and themselves becoming a mentor. The biggest thing that most people are not aware of is that there are plenty of leadership opportunities. As Mary T has shared with me numerous occasions, it's not about perfection, but it's about progress. And so this is a great environment where we can learn leadership skills in a supportive atmosphere. Then we will share with the new member, what are the next steps? What do I have to do next? And the last thing we could share in that orientation is the new member support and club expectations. Thank you, Dan, you can close that. Therefore, fellow Toastmasters, I present to you and to our club officers that we begin a new member orientation. Not only will it help the new members, but heck, it might can help even some of the older members. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster.